team. I love me, me, me. It is now day 15, so stay tuned for the question of the day. All right, family, so welcome back to I Love Me, Me, Me. Let me just say if this is your very first time here. For the month of December, I have decided to do Vlogmas, which is where I vlog or post a video every single day answering one question for the entire month of December. So again, if this is your first time here, I do have a playlist down in the description box below so you can catch up on all of the questions and, of course, all of my answers. Now, the question of the day is... Why do men lie when it's just easier to tell the truth? So let's jump in. Now, I have four reasons why I feel that men lie. Also, I have asked some men, I've read some books, read some articles, and um, these are some of the common things that I find why men lie. The first one is just because men don't like conflict with their significant other. When they're talking one-on-one -on -one to, to each other. They just blatantly tell the truth. They speak it like it is and they just move on with life. But, when, but they know that when they're in a relationship, they have to figure out a way to deliver the message, soften it, but that's not something that comes natural to men. So because they don't like conflict with their significant other, they, um, they basically lie about whatever is going on um, just to pretty much spare your feelings. So let's just go for instance that um, he wants to go hang out, but you want him to hang out with you. So instead of him saying, you know, you know, whatever, telling the truth about why he wants to hang out, maybe something important came up. It really doesn't matter why or what the reason is as to why he's decided that he has to lie when he is going to hang out with one of his friends. Um, it really doesn't matter why. Obviously, it feel he feels like. This might start some conflict between you two. So instead of going through the motions of the conflict and feeling bad or feeling like he has to explain the situation, he'll just go ahead and tell a lie to spare your feelings. Now, let me just say how this can actually get men in trouble and people in general, but specifically to this video, men in trouble for lying for GP, as I call it, for general purpose. Because you know what I was actually watching? Uh, I was scrolling through my Facebook feed the other day and I seen how this guy, this guy um, who happened to be married was out on, it looked like a date, I have to be honest, it looked like a date, um, but he did say that he was out with his friend. But of course, anyway, long story short, it happened to be a woman, he was there with a child. Some of y'all probably seen this going around the internet. The wife is in there and she's talking about how she could have... Uh, Basically, she was freaking out and she was basically saying that if nothing was going on between you two, then why did you lie about coming down here to hang out with your friend that he actually told her was a guy and the wife was going like she was going ham. She was talking about how she was mad that she um, didn't bring her shotgun like she. she yes, yes, she was heated. So all of this is to say, could could this situation have really been an innocent situation? It could have, but it just doesn't look good when it happens to be the opposite sex and now you you having lunch with the with the woman who you claim is just your friend but you lied to your wife about you going to this outing or potential date or whatever and I, I don't know um, what you know what the context of what was going on but the wife brought up now you down here with the baby and maybe they had a child I don't really know what was going on but she was heated that he was there not only with the woman but also with the baby she made a point to say and now you're here with the baby and you know so she was going ham and then on top of that um, it turns out that she knew about this girl and um, it was implied she didn't say but it was implied that her and the girl were friends at one point or something happened and um because she said something about we talked about this seven years ago so obviously this friend has been around for some years and caused some issues within their uh, within the husband and wife's relationship before and so anyway i'm not saying that he had to cut off the relationship what i am saying is that he is absolutely breaking down the trust in his relationship but to wrap it back around to what i was initially saying 
the husband obviously wanted to go hang out with the woman, which is what he did. But um, he didn't want to hurt his wife's feelings for whatever reason. So he just wasn't truthful about it. And that's the whole point of my story. Could have, could it have been something going on between the husband and the girl that he was on out on outing with? I don't want to say a date because I don't know. But I will say he just didn't. It just doesn't look good. And then to come find out you saying that you out with, with your friend. Yeah, you're out with a friend. But you never mentioned that it was this friend that obviously was bringing issues to their relationship. So he didn't want to hurt his hurt her feelings and so he just lied about the whole thing which again just doesn't look good anyway i'm gonna move on number three is that he is actually hoping that this will cut the conversation short because men are all about their facts and we women we really uh <laughs> we really can go on and on about particular subjects especially when we feel strongly about a particular subject we can just talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and ask question after question and that is where i'm leading to so instead of you having a um instead of him telling you the truth right and then y'all have a short conversation about it you're gonna ask a question and then that question after that answer he, you're gonna ask another question and then after that answer you're gonna ask another question and it's just very draining to men and now am i taking up for the men today no, what I am doing is give you, giving you some insight into why they do the things that they do. I'm not saying that it's right because I'm a woman. I have to deal with this myself, you know, sometimes. But 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 it's it's actually not bad in my relationship. I have to just throw that out there. But I do know that he be lying for GP too sometimes. And it, it, it's just quite annoying. It really is quite annoying. And um, again, it's not bad in my That's not something that I really and paying attention to like I literally choose my battles and even if I know that he's telling a quote-unquote white lie I'll just move on with life because you got to choose your battles in your relationship you don't have to talk about or address every single thing that's going on whether right or whether wrong because we as people in general it doesn't matter what relationship that you are in and with whom that other person at some point is going to disappoint you and a lot of times it's not even intentional a lot of times we are hearing one thing, they meant something completely different. And, and so um, just when you're in a relationship, you really have to choose your battles. But anyway, getting back to this, the guy is just hoping to keep the conversation short and without explanation, which he figures that lying is the, the best thing to do, just to cut it off and move on. The last thing that I hear a lot is that women just don't listen. This is number reason. <laughs> number reason this is reason number four as to why men lie versus just going ahead and telling the truth and it's because women don't listen so i hear this example frequently so i'm going to repeat it here which is a lot of times when men say that they're not ready for a relationship in the very beginning when you're first meeting them well you're hanging out more and more you're spending time with each other you're doing date like things and at some point you catch the feelings obviously i'm talking to the woman right now you catch the feelings and then you're wondering why he feeling like he needs to lie about where you guys relationship was because you didn't listen to what he said in the beginning you still continued on and unfortunately sometimes us women we think that we can change a guy's mind and if he is not in the stage to settle down or even have a relationship have a girlfriend or if you guys are not hanging out where he feels like oh you know what i actually can give this a try give this a chance there's nothing that you can do you don't have to bash him or beat up on him that is just the way that it is that's just the way that it is but you have to understand you have to hear and listen what to to what he is actually saying and not what you think he means men speak actually in facts so what he is saying is what he actually means there is no sugar sugar coat in it there is no underlying what he is saying is what he actually means so ladies those are my four reasons that men lie versus telling the truth <laughs> again i'm not saying that it's right i'm just giving you some insight to how men do things now if this is your very first time here to i love me 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 you make sure that you go ahead and hit that red subscribe button or the icon with my lovely face too bad it don't have my elf ears attached to it anyway <laughs> if you're liking this video of course give me thumbs up and of course share it with all of your friends that need to hear this particular information i will see you guys tomorrow Mwah.